Well, it's time to take the wrecker to work and fix up the steering. Even though they've been working on my shop, it's still a far cry from uh, being done. So we're gonna have to uh, take the wrecker to the dealership and see if we can fix her up there. Well, we got the wrecker here at the shop. The first thing we need to do is take the bumper and the front clip off. So let's snap to it. So we take a closer look at the damage. There, yeah, look at that. That's the bolt hole that pulled right through. Looks like we got some cracks on this one too. This one looks okay, and that's where the ear broke off. Now yeah, we also tore up our rag joint. That's why we uh, couldn't attach the steering box and steer anymore, why we had to use the winch. Excited to come over and help Eric today at the shop work on the wrecker. So let's uh, take a walk in and uh, see what he is up to in there. Where's Eric? Oh. There he is, hiding again. Well, not hiding, but uh, getting ready to take this apart. Wow, you guys got a lot off yesterday. Whole front clip, holy crap. Let's go in and take a look at what he's working on and what ripped off. So you can see right there when it ripped, it pulled the ear off and pulled it right out of the frame. So we gotta get everything out of the way here. And uh, we'll have to uh, pawn this back into shape, weld up the cracks before we put the plate on. hood look at the bumper oh i've never seen all these parts off the record before that has got to be order to get the bumper off he had to pull the one side because it was really up against it was up ah. against here oh Wow. We gotta take the pitman arm off now. Okay. Yeah. Out of the way. Still left the soft shackles on there to <laughs> move it around. It's kind of funny. I think maybe that one was donated by Gail. I don't remember where. Oh, that was. The, was that. The, when, where did that one come from? Uh, I don't remember the orange ones because you had green ones or something or pink. Ah, uh, yeah, pink and yellow one. Yeah, yeah, the pink. That's actually one of the brand new ones from uh, Ankum. Oh, really? Yeah. I like how they do the shrink wrap around the. It seems to stay in place and wear better. All right, now we can. The first thing to do is to heat it up, pound this back into shape. What's your icrometer saying? I think we're pretty close. So the way to know for sure would be to set the steering box up on there 
and uh, if it wobbles like a uh, bad table at a restaurant that you need to put the matchbook underneath uh, the leg, then we know it isn't right. If it sits up on there nice and square and flat and doesn't rock, then we got it where we want it to be. So it rocks. You want a matchbook? No, nope. yeah, but it's we gotta do a little more pounding. It's not bad, it's really close. And sunflower seeds and salt and vinegar pickles and my iced tea. Uh -huh. well, I should have been thinking ahead and not bought hot pepper cheese curds. Oh. Well, maybe I was thinking ahead because now I know Eric won't eat them. No, I won't. Eric doesn't like uh, hot stuff, so he won't eat the hot pepper cheese curds. Yep. That sits on there nice and flat. Doesn't wobble like a bad table leg. Now, we need to grind out the cracks a little bit and uh, weld those up and then grind them down. that'll do. The reason we're uh, grinding out the cracks is so we get some weld penetration in there um, because we have to grind down the surface flush after we're done uh, in order to uh, put the plate on, uh, the reinforcement plate that we got. So in order to get some weld penetration uh, and still have some weld after we grind it down, uh, we ground out the cracks. What are you doing over there, Mara? Mess. Oh my gosh, you found the best tool you have in your whole arsenal. You work that tool the best. Ha ha ha. about welding the plate on. No, I got clamps, somebody. Two things. First of all, I want to take these two holes yeah. and I'm actually going to bolt it on. Oh. Okay. I'm, I'm going to use yeah. these two holes to bolt it in place. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, line it? Yeah. But it looks off just a hair, doesn't it? Yeah. And do you have to drill this one or is this a plug weld? That's a plug weld, this is a plug weld, that's a plug weld. So we'll get the plate formed uh, and shaped right first and then we'll take it back off and then we'll polish all the paint off and uh, I have some uh, zinc weldable primer uh, to spray on there and uh, then we'll weld it in place. off a little bit I don't know let's match the plate up with the steering box and make sure that yeah see look at that yeah mm-hmm that's almost how much it's off on the frame it's like the steering box is right but the plates off a little bit because when you have the plate up there right I know so do you want to wobble out or just wobble out just a little bit on here what I'm gonna have to do. Well, I'm, I'm worried about it not, not being flush. Yeah. 
I'm gonna heat it up with the torch and hit it in. Yep. Bolt, bolt it back bolt on. Bolt it back on, heat it up with a torch and pound it in right here. Yeah. And that might and suck this. It yep. might. Yep. It might suck that back in line. Where are you going? Well, all the toolboxes in this shop, and uh, nobody's got a decent carbide bit that I can use to uh, hollow out those holes a little bit to make it fit. So I'm going to run home to my toolbox that's at home. If we were in our own shop, we wouldn't have this problem. But I got to run home, get some tools, and I'll be back. Well, while Eric runs home, I'm going to get some of this paint off of the frame here. Hey, Mara, will you hand me the plate and a marker? All right, you trace it. Trace, just give me a line around it. made it back with the tools we needed so now we can get started hollowing them out a little bit I think what we'll do is we're going to assemble this on the truck with the steering box, tack the plate into place, and then uh, take the steering box off and finish weld it. To uh, prevent rust underneath this uh, plate we're welding on, uh, we have a zinc weld uh, weldable primer here. So we're going to spray that down. Supposedly we can weld right through it and then we're going to do the same on the plate to prevent corrosion in between the two pieces of metal. And we're actually going to assemble everything all together and tack the plate into place. Oh, it comes with instructions. You can read the instructions. I know how men love reading instructions. <laughs> you can have all those cheese curds you want. No, no. Yeah? I'm going to be staying at their house. You can have all the hot cheese curds you want.
Okay, now for the plug welds. We got this hole, this hole, and this hole here that are designed to get plug welded. The trick with plug welds is you want to start in the center on the base metal and then work your way out to the uh, outside metal in a circular motion. Shake, 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 shake. What's that song? Yeah, you're asking the wrong guy. Come on, it's your guys' generation. Not mine. Those Moroccans. Shake, 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 shake. Honey, what's that song? I don't know. I don't know either. I think she's crazy. No. You know, Eric, you're going to have to paint the whole record now just because you painted that one piece of the frame. And Blake uh, volunteered. <laughs> I did not. This will uh, get dirty in plenty of time. <laughs> it won't take long at all. I don't see your boo-boo. What happened? That's the point. We don't want to see any boo-boos. Well, looks pretty good. All right, we'll let that paint dry a little bit before we bolt the steering box on. All right, well, we got the frame repaired and the uh, reinforcement plate on and our new steering box mounted. Well, I think that's about it for now. We're gonna have to get this out of the shop uh, because tomorrow morning, we're open for business. Thanks for watching BSF Recovery Team. Keep wheeling, be safe out there, and maybe we'll see you on the trails.